hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a droyo in github let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in github i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go using droyo with github allows you to manage and control the version of your diagrams alongside your code the very important thing that you need to remember that once you are in Droyo and if you click the start button here you will be forwarded to this section where it, it will ask you to choose where do you want to save your diagrams all right is it going to be google drive onedrive or device dropbox or github or gitlab now obviously we're going to choose github from here oh, you need to click the create a new diagram or open existing diagram if you want it we're gonna click create new diagram and from here for example um let's say we wanted to create a flow chart or maybe a generate class diagram it's up to you all right maybe um Streamline entity relationship diagram sequence Kanban board. So I'm gonna be using a simple Kanban board for now. If I click that, I'm going to click the create button. All right, and from here you just have to authorize your GitHub. All right, so do that. Now once you do that, you would be forwarded to the section wherein you are trying to authorize the uh, JGraph. Would like to ask permission. And from here, all I have to do is, at this point, you want to make sure that you have your both accounts ready for Droyo and GitHub. All right, click on the Authorize app. You would be forwarded here. Of course, just enter the value and just follow the on-screen instructions. Of course, I'm going to click the Authorize. And click on the Install button. This is very important because we need to install the Droyo app to our GitHub. All right. Because you are kind of like granting the Droyo to access your GitHub account and repositories. Now, from here, click the click on uh, the install option. So you want to make sure you allow all of these to move forward. All right. Click on install. It takes a little while and click the password. Now you're good to go. So. We have already installed the Droyo app. And from here, if you go to the let's click and save your personal profile. Alright. Now the next thing is you need to select the folder that you have created in GitHub. If you can't find the uh, folder or repositories, you have to go back to your GitHub account. And then click the plus button. You need to click the new repository. Or if you want to import, you can also do that. But here, if you click that, you would be forwarded to the section wherein you can you need to create the repository name. All right. For example, Deep Labs Channel. So it would say if it's available or not. All right. And from here, you can put in the description. You want to make sure it's uh, public. Anyone on the internet can see this repository. You can choose who can comment, and of course which is particularly helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers and with their client. But if you wanted this as an experiment test data, you might want to click the private. But we're going to click the public for now. And if you don't have any background knowledge about GitHub, just uh, leave this as it is because you have multiple options for the uh, these for the uh, template. You see that? And of course, the uh, license. If you don't know any of these, just leave it as it is. Just click the create repository once it's done again switch back to Droyo from here for example we're going to be choosing this Kanban we're going to click on create we're going to select the folder remember we have already created this I'll have to just select that and then what will happen is just click OK All right now from here remember since we have already created this diagram i'm going to zoom in out for you guys 
this is basically integrated already in my um, GitHub. So I can add more information here as so along the way. I can import an image here. Click on the research button. So it'll add like a uh, dynamics on the uh, diagram. You can add more information here. You can put in the diagram as a different color if you want. Change of the tags. For example, this background color is going to be like we're going to add like an uh, orange for that. Click on apply. Extra, extra theme is going to be that. So once you're happy with that, you might want to click on the save button. Control S for now. Click on OK. Just make sure that we have the updated file. All right. Takes a little while. Now from here, you might want to go to the import button or the export for example we're going to be choosing this as a png you can put in the shadow grid and all of these options size and diagram or is it going to be on the whole page if you choose the diagram only click that you can put in a border width for example this you also have the option for the transparent background but we're not going to do with that appears it's going to be dark and click on export but it would ask you where do you want to save it we're going to be using a github pick a folder and of course we're going to put the uh, diagram here in our github folder that we have created you can use any of the following folders but i'm gonna stick with this first one all right and click on ok you can have an option to create a copy if you want or click on save dependent on your preferences click on save click on okay all right just wait for it and then after that you need to switch over to your github now once you hover back again to your gplafs i mean sorry your github account I want you to click on the uh, repositories that you have saved the diagram from draw you in this case i'm going to be choosing this one right here all right i'm gonna click on it you would notice it's public these are going to be the imported files from Droyo. Remember, we have updated like a uh, code and the initial commit and the GitHub, which we save, right? Remember that? You see, there's going to be the uh, exported file. That's going to be a Droyo PNG if we hover back, and that's going to be our Droyo file here. Okay, so from here, you have multiple options. You can download the raw file if you want. You can also have an option to edit this file. It's up to you. But the thing is, you want to make sure that the uh, binary file content is editable. All right. But if you don't want to mess it up, just click on the cancel changes. You also have an option to edit in place, open with github.dev and github desktop. So again, it's all up to you. All right. You can put in these settings right here if you want to uh, change the uh, repository name and all of these features. Basically, that's how you use Droyo diagram going to github thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video